So it seems I came down with a bit of a cold that later turned into a fever. I took a couple days off. And on the third day, I lost my voice completely. So I decided to piddle around in this game and finish the base me and Kelvin started. Winter came and I could no longer test the traps because it's extremely hard to find rock when there's a layer of snow. The entire time I couldn't get that one spot out of my head. I ran across it by accident. It was a bald spot somewhere in the forest, perfectly flat. I went back and rewatched my videos with no success, but we're gonna find it. And we're gonna build the most crazy base imaginable. I've got a lot of ideas brewing in my head. I planted a seed that has started to sprout. So let's move forward and find our promised land. So it's winter again, and we've played completely through this game. In this episode, we're going to find the one remaining item that we're missing. We're going to talk about the game as a whole and why I don't like this base. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name, and Sons of the Forest is the game. And in today's episode, we're going to go over the base building thing, which... I love, don't don't get me wrong. And I'm, I'm getting over a sickness still. Thank you guys for being patient. There's just a couple things I want to talk about while playing at the same time. It's cold. We need some supplies. So I'm going to take one of my mini zip lines and go to the beach. Let's travel. I'll show you uh, what kind of a system I've put up here. It's long, but it works. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? And here we are. Dig the music. A little loud though. Okay, so first off, man, I had a couple days to reflect on this game while I took off sick. And they've had a couple updates since I've been gone. A couple hot fixes. But so far, my overall rating of this game is definitely a 10 out of 10 if you guys know who I am and have followed me. This game is damn near perfect. The, the scenery, the setting is what I would build for an outdoor survival game. That they, they nailed it. But there I hear a lot of people complaining, man, about this game. And I'm like, why are you complaining? Is this not Sons of the Forest? Is this not the craziest thing you've ever seen from an indie game? This game is better than most, and I do mean most, if not all. I'd say at least 99% of AAA games. 98%. I love it, man. I'm having a blast with it, and I'm going to continue to have a blast with it throughout this month. We are going to make all kinds of content on this game. It's, it's going to be great. Ooh, grenades. I forgot about this. No, it's not perfect, obviously. It's, it's got its it's got its twangs just like any game but it's in early access man come on give it a break but yeah I know I'm speaking to a small majority also the beauty about early access games is that you get to have a hand in making it better that's why I love early access games hello guys Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I'm holding a grenade anyway. All right, let's get back up to the base. That was fun. Now, I've done a lot of improvements on this base, but it still just isn't what I want. It was my first base. It's my practice base, I guess you could say. It's the base I learned on. I found a piece of land that I have been racking my brain trying to refine. The ground wet, the scenery perfect. I know you guys watch my content, all right, obviously. And I know you guys remember what I'm talking about. I was like, I'm gonna build a base here, this is perfect. Now I don't know where that was. I forgot. Let's, let's put this grenade away, man, that's dangerous. Anyway, so we've got one more item to find, that's the machete. 
and I think I know where it is. One of you guys said it's on a beach, and I'm assuming that's the beach we started at, which is right there. He said it's along the shore, opposite end of the cave, so I'm assuming it's at the top right. We're going to go check that, and then we have successfully collected all the items in the game. And yeah, I'll be making some how-tos and whatnot, but I want to do it in a different way. Maybe I'll put a how to find everything. Because this game, you can't just go run and find an item like you could in the forest. You have to have items to find other items. So it's a bit more complicated than the first forest was. Sure, some things you can make a how-to, just one video. But why not put it all in one and give people in order how to find everything in order? I don't know. Still working on it. The other day when I was sick, I played a little bit offline and was messing around with some of the traps. Got a couple kills figured out the mechanics but one thing that i cannot stand are these defense walls one because you can't put a gate in at least i don't think you can i tried couldn't figure it out and i had an idea so if you look at the bottom floor of my base which is empty i have these cutouts so that i can see if there's anything on the perimeter of my wall on the inside and i was like i'm gonna line the outside of this base with traps and then i got to think and i wonder if i could reset the traps from in here because I was looking through these holes and I was like, there's never any cannibals inside my walls. Because they can't jump over the fence unless they knock their way through. And if they knock their way through, it's going to set the traps off. So I got to thinking, I wonder if we could build a perimeter wall just out of walls. And then build something in the center. That way we could access it. I don't know. I had a lot of ideas in the past two days floating around in my mind about how I could go about building a base that was actually safe. Because, man, those perimeter walls suck. You get those headbutt mutants coming, and they knock them down in one swing. I've had this base attack several times, but the funny thing was that my walls that they were attacking were fine. So I was like, well, these walls seem to be more powerful than those. But I wonder if I put a perimeter of these walls up, will they be able to jump over them? I don't know. We've got a lot of testing to do. We're going to be doing a lot of building. We're going to try to find the perfect setup, and I preferably want to build where there's deer. I don't think I've killed a single deer throughout this entire playthrough. We are still in the beginning series of this playthrough. We're still learning the game, you know, and we probably will do that all the way up until the new update. We will play multiplayer at some point, but I really want to dig in, really figure out the game completely before I move on with another series or restart. I'm, all, I'm probably always going to come back to this save. I'm going to keep one save for the updates, and if I want to challenge myself, I may start another. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section. I just feel like with the first forest, we played it so much. And it was the same thing over and over and over. I want to give them a chance, well, the people at End Night, to change the game before I go through it again. Like, really change the game. And I also want to encourage End Night. I don't know what their future projects are. I want to encourage End Night to keep this in early access and just keep adding to it. They gave us a window, I think, of eight months to a year for it to be fully finished. I hate fully finished games. They're boring. They suck. Once you play through them, it's over. And I know you can only add so much to a game until it just gets ridiculous. But if Endnight's watching, I want to give one suggestion. And I don't know why I do this in every single game. Okay? How about some fireworks? Yeah, that's right. Mortars. Maybe distractions. Maybe a lighting source. I want fireworks. I want to maybe shoot a mortar at a pack of cannibals. Not to blow them apart, because we know that mortars, you know, are a little bit weaker than grenades with zero shrapnel. Maybe just to scare them. Maybe to freak them out. I don't know. I just like fireworks. And it would bring a beautiful dynamic to the game. It would be cool. I just think it'd be cool. Maybe some Roman candles. Just for funny, for the funny factor of it. Maybe a bottle rocket, a whistling bottle rocket. You'd be like, yeah, and it's unpredictable where it goes. It could take a little bit of your damage if it comes back and hits you. Or vice versa to the cannibals. Because sometimes I just like getting stupid with video games. It's cold. Man, the winter season is rough. I can't harvest rocks. It's hard, man. They did a great job on the uh, the seasons in this game. Amazing. It's amazing. You have to prepare for winter. But this game as a whole, man, is, is amazing. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's insane. And for those of you out there that are getting bored with it already, A, it's, it's early access, and B, bro, what is it going to take to entertain you? 
I feel like a lot of you guys are kids that are like handed a toy and they get bored with it within an hour, man. Things just don't work on their own, okay? You've got to work them until they work. Play the game. Interact with the community. From what I hear, and I kind of know this to be true, the devs listen. These devs listen. This is a small team of devs that made this game. It's insane. Yeah, but the game got delayed. Every game gets delayed. What is that sound? Oh, no. Oh, Virginia's going ham. Oh, my God. Well, maybe we'll see a trap in, in action or something. Put my map away. Well, she's handling it. That's for sure. You know, I almost think she, she's not that good a shot with the pistol, man. Maybe I might try to go get another shotgun as well. Man, what's your problem, dude? Step on... Oh, that's right. Those traps aren't built because I can't find rocks. I'm not going to throw an explosive. Yeah, I use the crossbow. Yeah, they're right in his shoulder piece. I know he's not dead. These dudes fake it a lot. Let's see. Oh, no, he's dead. And looks like she handled the rest. Calm down. Calm down. There we go. Man, it's a blizzard, dude. I think that's all of them, right? Good job, my lady. Good job. Also, another suggestion. You know, it really sucks to be in danger and have your base absolutely ripped apart. But one thing I liked about Seven Days to Die... Look at this dude. That missed him. Is the uh, the blood moons, man. Why can't there be... God, man, I love the crossbow. Why can't there be a night where something like crazy happens? You know what I mean? Not necessarily a blood moon. I can't hit this dude. Not necessarily a blood moon. Oh, shit. Yeah, that hurt. Are we out of bolts? We're out of bolts. It's okay. I'll just shoot you. Oh, we have no bullets. I'm going to try the stun gun real quick. I'm going to shock you, sir. Just hold still. There we go. <laughs> Is he dead? No way. No, he ain't dead. Finishing move. Okay, there we go. But yeah, man, I want some kind of like night to prepare for. Something crazy. You know what I mean? I know that'd be really hard to put into the game. And I like being attacked for some reason. I'm weird. But I, I like the anxiety of it. I don't know. I'm stupid. I played this game for five days straight. That could have contributed to me getting sick. Because <laughs> I was up for like 16 hours a day playing the crap out of this game. Anyway, here's the base. It's a three-tier system. The bottom being basically a dud for protection. And to get in and out, we use these zip lines not the best system it's pretty ugly like i said this was my starter base let's go up top you know it's a good base and it's functional but it's it's uh it could be better the location could be better i like the view don't get me wrong we are close to a beach kinda we have water we have a good pit to trap trees and stuff when we cut them down but you know me i want more and now that we don't have kelvin rest in peace we're going to have to do everything by hand. And I know there's a way to bring Kelvin back, but I'm not going to do that. All right? I was irresponsible. And, I, man, if I heard some horror stories about Kelvin, he's, uh, you know, he glitched. He never glitched out on me, but people have sent me stuff from all corners of this game. My inbox has been exploding. My subscribers have been climbing. The like button has been slammed repeatedly and thank you guys for that i appreciate it that's one of the main reasons for the growth in my opinion though this is the best execution of any early access game i've played good job at night good job and i really would love to hear your feedback about this game and what you think about it and i read all the comments you guys put down below so let me know what you think now let's go get that machete in the snow i do have a winter coat i found that and i found a virginia tracksuit down in the mall which is strange because I picked it up, but I didn't, I cut it out of the video somehow. And then somebody in my comments was like, there's a track suit. And I was like, yeah, I picked up a track suit and went back and watched. And apparently I cut it out of the video, but yeah, she's got a track suit on now. So I found that let's pull out our map. We've got some food in our pocket and let's go towards the helicopter beach. Love the zip lines, by the way, 
They are a bit OP. I love the fact that you can go back up a zip line. That was uh, much needed. There is something that I can't quite put my finger on about this game that uh, that I want, but I, I just, like I said, I can't put my finger on it. I do feel as though this game is missing something, but I just, I just don't know what. And I, and I got a feeling that everybody feels that way. Everybody's like, yeah, this game is absolutely insane, but it's there's something missing. But a lot of people were upset because of the story, and it's like, for one, the story's not completely done, so don't judge it just yet. But also, this game really wasn't about, you know, it's not about the story. It's about survival, hardcore survival, in a very hostile environment. And the story is basically just an option. And so many people freaked out about the story, and I'm like, man, the forest has never been about, you know, the story, really. It's been about the survival aspect of it, and the building, and the planning. The struggle. I enjoy the struggle. I love the struggle. It gives me the much-needed joy that I crave to get throughout my day. I love that this is an environment with no boundaries. There's no fences. You know what I mean? I love games like this because it reminds me of what life is supposed to be. Well, minus the cannibals and stuff, of course. But it's like the Wild West out here, man. You're free to roam everywhere. But in, in having that freedom, you're also free to run into somebody else that's free. And he can kill you. Or it can kill you. It reminds me of the times of high adventure. The experiences and the times that I think humanity is lacking the most right now. Especially here in the States. I for real almost just hunted a deer with a katana. Hang on. They also brought, I think, the number system back for hot swaps. We're going to test that out as well. That was, that was sorely needed because the quick access isn't so quick. Wow, those deer really scattered. Oh, there's one. We're going to kill a freaking deer right now. We're going to headshot it. I don't care. And of course I missed. Yeah, I think there needs to be one more element in this game to put it all together. It's kind of like one game that I believe that had so much going on, which was awesome, was Red Dead. I almost think they took on too much. Red Dead being one of my favorite games of all time. But there was a hunting aspect. There was a surviving aspect. There was just a lot to the game. There was, a, you know, a story. There was online. Yes! Oh my god, bro. Okay. Well, we're out of projectiles, so hand-to-hand -hand combat it is. Hell no! Nah. You ain't touching my kill. This is my kill. Back the hell up. Do you think I'm playing with you? I guess I'm going to skin this thing alive. Watch me get smacked right in the face. Yep, here it comes. Bro, I'm going to cut your head off. Yeah, double hit. Thank you. That was nice. I'm going to die. What? With your meat skin on. What the hell's wrong with you, man? Did I skin that deer? Alright, alright. Yeah, nice swing there, sir. That was nice. Okay, I guess we got what we needed. Moving on. Oh, there's a village right there. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a finger monster. Yeah, I'm not getting close to that. I call them finger monsters. <laughs> finger mutants. You better watch out. They'll finger you. Man, the mutants are everywhere. We're going to have to get in this cave system. That scares me every time. Oh, wow. 
I didn't know we could do this. Let's do this real quick. Sleep. Save. Okay, we've slept. We've saved. Let's go outside. Nice. All right, we're good. Oh, the snow melted. Winter is gone. That's strange. Damn. That winter went by fast. Okay, it is the rainy season of the year, I guess. Let's get this reloaded. <coughs> Still sick. Oh, man, I had a damn thing right over there. Uh, let's see. Let's eliminate this dude. Pick our shot, you know. Somehow he dodged that. Oh, I shot right between his legs. Let's reload. Man, I hate how fast these things are. You cannot run from them. Oh, my God. Absolutely hate the way they move. Okay. So somebody said the machete was on the other side of the beach somewhere over there. So let's go check it out. Uh-oh. That's funny. I was sick throughout the winter season. And now it's gone. All right. So I don't know exactly where this thing is. I just know that they said it was on the other side of the beach. So we're going to walk along this beach and just scan it. And hopefully we find something. You know, this wouldn't be a bad place to build, especially with zip lines bringing in trees. What is that? Is that a shark? I'm going to finger its blowhole. What the hell is that? That is a shark. I had no idea they put sharks on the beach again. Are you shark, sir? Oh, my God. No, that's an orca. What? The hell could have possibly killed an orca, man? These things are the king of the sea. Bruh, sharks don't mess with the orcas. They call them killer whales for a reason, and uh, some would argue that they're smarter than humans. You know, they just don't have hands. But yeah, man, orcas are not killed by great white sharks. Orcas absolutely destroy everything. These are small orcas. They might be babies, and that would be different. But yeah, nothing messes with nothing. Nothing in the ocean messes with an orca. They are insanely intelligent. Well, so far, this is kind of a bust. Probably got trolled. I'm not seeing anything. Like, literally nothing. Oh, I see something up here. What do we got up here? Got a couple tents. We've got a dude. Man, there's a lot of stuff up here. Canty parts. Got some flares. More tape. Oh, daddy likey and still no machete. These life rafts, they got motors on them. They do have motors on them. Oh my God. There's the machete, man, bro. That was tiny. That could have easily been overlooked. Okay. So now we have everything. Okay, so I just slept the rain away. It was kind of getting annoying. Let's pull out the machete. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Man, that thing's tiny. It's got great speed, decent defense, crappy attack. Man, that was loud. <laughs> nice. I'm assuming this is for obviously cutting down stuff like sticks and bushes and, you know, all that mess. This is the lawnmower. And it still takes quite a bit of stamina. It's not like the weed eater. From the last game. Very effective, though. One swing. Nice. Yes. And looky there. We can see rocks again. Yeah, this is nice. It's going to make a good addition. Man, a beach would be great for rocks. <laughs> I'm going to go through my videos one more time real quick and see if I can pinpoint the location of that bald spot, man, because it was perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, I just found it. I looked forever 
on my videos. And I don't know how I kept overlooking it. Yeah, I see it. It's it's in the same area where Kelvin died, which we will be burying Kelvin. We're going to build a box around him, maybe like a, an above-ground crypt or something. Man, they're, they're, they should put it... We need one hiatus, man. We need one. Just one. Okay? Just one. To learn from our mistakes, like a... Uh, a defibrillator or something you know what i mean a defibrillator with like one charge or something like that i don't know if that makes sense or not maybe I, maybe i'm just stupid i won't make the same mistake with virginia but getting back to kelvin man i did hear horror stories about kelvin that he just randomly died on some people not being attacked or anything i've heard uh people's entire base is getting destroyed by kelvin so i don't know maybe it was for the best He's at peace now, regardless. Now, it's so weird, because I felt like I ran over this spot a hundred times and didn't find it. But this game is so big, man, it's really easy. What the hell is that? That must be an exit to a cave system. Back on the trail. Let's zoom out a bit. What I do hate is that blueberries do not have the nutritional value as the last game. They kind of suck. I haven't got into crafting different recipes, but we will get into that soon. Figuring everything out. Like I said, there's still a lot to this game we don't know about. I, I want to take my time with it, you know? I don't want to rush too much. I want to enjoy my time in the forest. And I kind of feel like we rushed it, but we kind of didn't, because we beat it on accident. Okay, so this area should be straight ahead. It should be a clearing, a perfect circle, and it should be flat as a board. This looks familiar, but it kind of don't. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play with some grenades. You got some dude over here making a throat noise. Have a grenade, sir. There you go. That was fun, wasn't it? How about you, sir? Would you like a grenade? Catch. Ah. Fun, happy times. Hello, sir. I'm going to make myself known. Get your all's attention, you know. You guys like fireworks? What are you doing? Here, here. Just catch this. <laughs> uh, feathers where's the big chief at I mean, playing with intestines that's great you know I'm wondering if these tribes like randomly spawn in areas because this is almost the exact location where I was wanting to be okay moving on Oh, there's more of them. There's the golden guy. It's okay, I've got one more bomb left. If you guys want to play catch. I gotta kill this dude. Hello, sir. <laughs> Here. No! Missed him. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah. What the hell did why did he pick up that dead body? That was strange. Okay, man. We've got a lot of creepy armor. We literally had a full set of creepy armor. Okay, onwards. I think I see that spot. It's right up here. Is this it? Ladies and gentlemen, I have found my spot. This is it. Look how perfect this is. We're pretty close to a water source. It's not bad. There's deer running around. It's open, right? This is perfect. You can see it on my map. I'll zoom out for you. It's in this location. Zoom in a little bit. 
pretty close to this road. Yeah, this is a damn good spot. It's not perfectly flat, but it, it'll do. Look at all the wildlife. I wonder if deers can get caught up in traps as well. So the first rule of building is to make a giant pile of logs, which is what we're going to do. And I do mean a giant pile of logs. And because this is an open area, and because this is an open area, we're going to need a lot of zip lines. I think we've got quite a few. We'll save one tree. Just shoot it right there. Let's get to cutting. Oh, God. There you go, golden guy. Boom. <laughs> All right, so our biggest threat is taken care of. Why are you running at me, bro? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this? I know that dude's not dead. Now he's dead. Yeah, back to cutting, right? That's a lot of logs. Let's pile them up. I love this system. It's so nice. Okay, so one thing I've noticed is that all these trees that I cut down, the logs are now missing. So, that tells me I've just wasted a lot of time. I guess you have to build a base a little bit at a time. Cut down a couple trees. Do your building. Because I just wasted so much just now. I get that you don't want the game to lag, but... That's a bit extreme, man. I, like, there were so many logs here just now, and now they're not. Yeah, I, I'd like that to be changed. <laughs> That's kind of jank. Okay, so my idea for this base is to, I guess, build a perimeter wall, but actually build a perimeter wall to see how it holds up. And to do that, it's we're gonna it's gonna take a lot. So I'm gonna start way out here. I don't even know if this is gonna work. We're just going to start placing logs. See where this goes. <laughs> Stupid. I want to kill something with a log. <laughs> How that feels there? <laughs> Can I for real kill this thing? That's right, get out of here. <laughs> oh, that was great. Hey, let me tell you, man, this is going to take a long time to build. Okay, I think we're going to go out about that far with the perimeter wall. I mean, that's pretty extreme. We may come in one or two more. I think that looks about right. I think that's going to be enough. Okay, looks like we're building a 10 by 10. Which I think that's enough room to fit a base in, hopefully. Oh, no. We've got a slight deviation right here. I don't know how we're going to get around it. Well, this may not be a perfect square, but I want it to be. Oh, well. Looks like we got a bit of a corner right here, which I, we might be able to use to our advantage in some way, shape, or form. Maybe I'll put a lookout tower right there. Mmm. Sounds good. Okay, so we got the foundation laid. Now, the really hard part. Also, I'm wondering how high up with these walls that we can go, because I never tested that. I know the cannibals can jump pretty high. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you can make them really high. And then I'm wondering if putting supports would be beneficial. Has to be. Tell you what, let's put in supports. 
like this. I think I think that would be beneficial, but I'm not sure. It only requires more wood. Okay, so I, I think I just figured out how to use... Yeah, I did. How to use the number system. The quick select. Oh my god, that is so much better, dude. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, got our post set up. Now it's time to fill in the walls. This is going to take a while. And you know what would make this easier so that I'm not working against myself? Now that we have the frame put up, maybe we need to work from the inside out. Let me go ahead and put down some lookout posts. That looks pretty good. Why am I so far away from that? Well, for some odd reason, that's as good as it gets. I'm assuming we can't get the front of this thing too close. God, that is so stupid. I want that to be hanging out over this edge. I mean, you would understand why I want that. But apparently this structure, as you can see the lip of it right there, will not go past any structure underneath it. Which kind of sucks. So I don't even know if this thing is worth it. Hmm, very strange. It's supposed to be a lookout, but if the lookout's on the outside, it's going to get destroyed. And we can't peer it over any other structure. Don't like it. I'm removing it. We'll stick with the walls and ropes. Okay, one wall complete. A thousand more to go. Come on. I'm on a roll, man. Hopefully they just pass by. Oh, this dude's brave. Wow, I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Okay, uh, took care of that. Did you leave me any skin pouches, sir? Broke bastards. Ah, oh, we've got another. <sighs> that one dude took almost all of my creepy armor. Yeah, come on. You swing first, sir. Yeah, you look pretty cool with your meat shields and stuff, but you're holding a bone and I'm holding a katana. That was your first mistake, sir. I have a katana again. Finishing move. All right. Man, this area gets a lot of traffic. This is going to be interesting. Oh, my God. 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 I fucking missed. I 
I'm an idiot. No. No. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I really, really don't like those things. Okay, back to work. That sucked. Okay, there is the perimeter wall. Very impressive. Let's see if we can tie a rope to it. Eh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay, let's get up here. Nice. I think that's enough room to work with. We are extremely tired and thirsty. So first things first, we're going to save the game. There we go. Set in stone. Now what I'd like to do, and I don't know if this is necessary. Let me know down in the comment section if you think this is necessary. Reinforcing the walls like that. That's also another way for us to get out. I don't know. I don't know if that makes the wall any stronger. <sighs> but gives us easy access out of the yard. I don't know. And we've got a lot of logs to play with. So let, let's, let's go get a drink. Yeah, see, we're not super far away from a water source. There we go. Wait a minute. Skin pouches. Oh my God. Are you serious? Am I that stupid? So skin pouches have stuff in them. I'm an idiot. Yeah. I was like, I can't pick up any more skin pouches. Why? Well, because I was full of them. Oh, man. I'm embarrassed. So the skin pouches have... It's like loot. Sweet. Yeah, see, we're not far away at all from water. I mean, we do have to travel a bit. Just, just a hair. Just over that ridge. There are deer aplenty running around everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and put up a rope. No, I'm not. We need more rope. I will have a rope on each side, but for now, I think... I'm not 100% sure if cannibals can run up these logs. But for the sake of speed and building inside... I'm setting up a log. And then, to get logs on the inside to build, I'm going to do this. Oh my God. Okay, sir. I guess arrows it is. Right past your head. There you go. Right in your chest piece. What are you doing, sir? Bro, I swear the consistency of this thing is just not good. <coughs> sir, I'm sick. Can you please step away from my base? That was point blank. I know that hurt. Let's see what they do to the wall. Let's uh let's check it out. Pretty sturdy, right? Did that hurt, sir? You dropped your stick. Did any of you drop a skin pouch? Because I am now interested. Okay. Well, we missed with two shots, but whatever. I'm getting better with the bow. Those big dudes are scary, man. 
Yeah, they legit did not drop a skin pouch. Broke cannibals. Oh, another one. Sir, where are you going? You okay? I didn't mean to let that one loose. I'll take it back. <laughs> I love these dudes, man. They're great. Much better than the other forest. They have a lot more character. Anyway. So the wall's pretty damn sturdy. But here's what I'm going to do to get logs in. And I know it's going to knock down my tent. This might not work. <laughs> oh, somebody's beating on my wall. I don't like that. Hey, I made a TP. Man, who the hell is on my wall? Hang on. I have to put one right here. There we go. Hello? I killed his family. I killed his tribe. He's mad. Yeah, but I can't let this dude run around. Maybe he has a skin pouch. Missed. Missed. Hit. That was a girl. Sorry, ma'am. Do you have a skin pouch? I'm collecting them. <laughs> uh, skin pouches. Wonder what kind of skin they're made from. Can you guess? Man, I feel a lot better than I did the other day. I was running a terrible fever. It sucked. And I hope you guys are feeling good as well. Getting over this stupid winter season. Yep, no skin pouches. So I think what I am going to have to do here is build some sort of structure that we can tie into. Yeah, that looks high enough. Sweet. Okay, now we can tie into this and shoot logs in the middle of our base. That did not sound right. Give it a whirl. Take that off to the side. Take this back. Pull out our grappling gun. Let's reload it. Let's go to a nice, dense part of the forest. Let's tie off up here. Very tip top. And we'll hit this tree. Well, if that ain't sexy, I don't know what is. Okay, we'll continue our work in the morning. Okay, it is bright and early in the morning. Strange. Okay, let's get to work. All right, let's see how this works. Let's see if this works. Works like a charm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, let's see how many logs we got. Yeah. Wait a minute. Man, I got way more than that. Oh, yeah. They were shooting over the base. That's fantastic. Now the question is, what the hell are we going to build in here? And how big are we going to build it? One thing's for sure. I want a deck. And I want this deck to be maybe one wall away from the fence line. I want the wall to be like an integrated part of the base. Let's let's try something here. Maybe like that. Maybe we'll use these as like kind of like spacers to get some nice, you know, symmetry. As you guys well know, I've put a lot of hours, about 2,000 hours into, maybe more than that, maybe like, I think it's 27, 000, or 2,700 hours in the forest, and I've already put like 80 hours into this game, which is insane. So, I know a thing or two about building. I haven't been the best builder, but I feel as though I get inspired by defense more than anything. Not just necessarily building stupid structures, meaningless structures. I like building actual fortresses that have meaning and purpose. I like to find a way to make them impenetrable. I like watching cannibals die. 
But one thing I've stated over and over about the forest, and I hope the devs are listening, and if you guys agree, please let me know down in the comment section. This game needs to stay in early access for a long time. Unless, of course, they have something else going on, you know what I mean? Or future plans for a new game or something like that. I don't know. But I want them to keep this game in early access for as long as possible. Let me know if you agree down in the comment section, please. I love the fact that you can throw logs, too, to get them out of the way. So awesome. And you can use them as weapons. Okay, so we've got our perimeter laid out. Looks, uh, looks okay. Let's go ahead and get our outline done. Of all the games that I've played, though, the most hours I've put into any game is Rust. And I've built some crazy bases on Rust as well. And this system kind of is more, not necessarily more similar, but it's more similar than the original Forest was. It's a lot more customizable. And I, li I like it a lot more. Okay, let's get some more logs. Okay, so that was a lot of cutting. Let's send the last logs and let's follow them. I'm probably going to hit the wall. No, nope, I didn't. All right. Oh my God, what the hell? Bruh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, oh, how did that happen? Okay, let's calm down. Calm down. You dead? Yeah, that's very interesting. Okay, so I don't think all of our logs jumped over the wall, did they? No, none of them. Perfect. Okay, well, let's continue with the floor. So, I'm thinking now we could possibly fill this in. Like, just do the entire floor. I think that would be insane. I don't know if we should do that or not, though. I just don't know. I mean, that would be sick. You know what? We're going to do it. Oh my god. Look how perfect that stacked. That's dope. They landed perfectly symmetrical with one another. That's amazing. Oh crap, there's people outside my gate. You hit my base, sir? Oh, you are. Let me just slice you up then. Did you see that condescending... How do you say that? Condescending movie, did? Knocking my log off there like that? I put that bitch right back where it was. See? See? I cut your damn legs off. That way you can't get back up. Yeah, so far... This is looking pretty damn wicked. Check this out. Oh my god. Yeah, man, it's gonna take a while. Oh well. the hell is that somebody clearing their throat right outside my damn wall ah uh, these dudes i really need to set up traps oh my god there's three of them <laughs> there's four of them yeah your buddy's dead you know, I've always wanted to try this. Let me play you guys a nice tune. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> you got hit with the geet. How do you say that? <laughs> A guitar. I sound like Porky Pig. Oh, nice block. Nice block. What about that block? You like that? How's it feel to get beat with a with a guitar? Is there a finishing move with this? Let's try it. Yes. You ever seen your friend get killed with a guitar? All right. Enough messing around. Is he pooping on my wall? He was pooping on my wall. Bro, that wall is so much stronger than the defense walls, man. So much stronger. God dang, he's fast. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nope. No, ain't, it ain't happening, sir. Did I shoot your leg off? I did. There you go. What do you think he's going to do? Just run away? Did you leave me one of them skin sacks? No? Okay, fine. Yeah, man, these walls are way, way, way stronger than those crappy defense walls. And that's what I was hoping for. Skin pouches? Man, I'm tired of broke cannibals running across my base. Anyway, let's get back to it. Okay, we're pretty much framed in. I've got an idea for the outside as well. Don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a whirl. I don't know, I've got so many ideas. Unfortunately, first things first, the floor. Oh my god. Man, these dudes just won't stop. Alright. I'm going to handle this big dude. Right over his head. Right over the top of his head. That hit him. That hit him. Right in the damn forehead. Hurts my skull. Oh my god! Man, I hate those dudes. Go to sleep. Right in the neck. He saw my base and was like, Well, I wish I could build that. And if there's one of these big dudes, there's probably more to come. Do you have a sack skin? I mean, a skin sack. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel more in my element out here in the wild. I love it, man. Look at that view. It's beautiful. The forest. Oh, damn. That was a uh, Tay Tay shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to feel more of my element out here. But it's so funny because I'll just zone out and be shooting logs into the base. And I'll, for I'll forget what game I'm in, man. Like, this is kind of what I used to do at work. Like, I would literally turn my brain off and just do what needed to be done. Just turn into a zombie. And I like that feeling. I like zoning out. While my body's here doing this, my brain is... Off solving problems, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I love the grind, man. Bro, there is way too many deer over here for me to be hungry. All right. I wish I had a freaking crossbow bolt. Oh, that dirty bastard. Oh, my God, these things. Ah. Oh. Well, lost all them damn arrows. I'm hungry. I have no more candy barts. Raymond noodles it is.
Up and over. <laughs> this looks insane. This is dope. All right, let's get this perimeter done. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't run. I have no food. There is a tangly monster inside my wall. Whatever the hell they're called, I don't know. There is a monster inside my wall. I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to lure it out somehow. I don't even know how it got in. Is it still in there? I'm not sure if it's even still in there. Wouldn't I see it flip-flopping around? Oh, it's still in there. It sees me. How did it got in through the ramp? Nope. It glitched through the wall. It's knocking down my wall. Oh my god, I hate these things with a passion. Oh my god, they're so fast. I hate the bow. I hate it. I hate it. It's inside my wall again. I'm tagging it. I'm tagging it. I'm out of arrows. I'm out of everything. Molly's. I'm burning it. I'm burning it. Ah! Yes, sir. Burning hell, sir. Oh, my God. I hate those things. I hate them. I want my arrows back. That sucked really, really bad. Watch this. It completely missed. Okay. I'm putting an animal trap out here. There. All right. Well, back to work. hearing holy sweet Kansas nipple I found a camp nice all right yeah I needed this I like that jam holy Crap. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Dude, there's all kinds of stuff over here. Okay, well, that was much needed. And there's water right here. I'll be damned. I'm going to drink out of it even though there's a dead body in it. Okay, sweet.
Oh my god! Oh my god! I just had I just had a heart attack. I I just had a myocardial infarction, whatever it's called. Wow! I knew that was gonna happen. <sighs> my heart just farted. This son of a bitch. Oh my god, why is he so fast? Oh my god! Now where the hell did he go? Yeah, right in your gut meat. It's 3D printed. How does it feel? Neck piece. Dude, you're not dead. I'm not stupid. You think I'm stupid, don't you? I don't care. There you go. Eat one. It's delicious. Where's your skin sack? I mean your, uh... Your sack... Never mind. Man, and I was going to cook that meat, too. Now it's raining. It's probably rotten. Bro, that messed me up. All right. Let's go see what we've done so far. There we go. Almost done with the floor. Let's go ahead and get it done. Okay. Here is my perimeter wall that took six hours to build. It was worth it. We've got some shrubs sticking up. I wish they'd get rid of that, but at least it's not full of grass. They fixed that problem. I'm hungry. Hopefully, oh my God, hopefully I don't burn my house down. Meat, 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 meat. Okay. Put your lighter up, sir. We're going to eat one. There you go. And we're going to take the others. Excellent. Now we've got our bellies full. And it's time to contemplate what we're going to do on the outside perimeter. Now that we've got the inside foundation done, I don't quite know what I want to do with the base and the center. I know it's going to be dope, but I really want to plan it out. What we really need to worry about is defense. The hell was that sound? Did I just hear my gut burp? Must have been an internal fart. I don't know. But I'm going to save the game before something bad happens. Game is now saved. We need to worry about traps. I need traps. It seems like this wall gets hit pretty bad. And I think what I'm going to do, I don't know how effective this is going to be. I don't know if we should put traps close together or put one trap per wall. Maybe one trap per other wall. Every other wall. And we're going to use the fly swatter traps. I heard you. I heard you. Yeah. Uh, what am I? Bro! Okay, stand up. Run, stupid. There you go. And come and get some. There you go. Your buddy's dead. You want to come scoop him up? Oh, you you mean business, sir. Okay, I'm getting ganged up on. Man, dude, I can't block for nothing. Another friend dead. There we go. Oh, meathead mother frigger. I'm going to cut his stupid ass helmet. There we go. Gave him a haircut. What's wrong, man? Are you mad? Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. He's very mad. Yeah! Make sure your head's off. Do you have a sack? No. Never mind. Oh, well. Now, I don't know if this is going to work for sure. So we're going to test it out on one before we go building all these. Okay, I just heard a trap go off. And these traps suck. Oh, no, we caught something. 
Never mind. Okay. So let's get this one built. We need one more stick. I just realized that the red trees give off a shite ton of sticks. That's cool. Oh my god, we're going to need so much rope for this. Let's get this one built. There we go. That's two. Let's test these two. Okay, so first panel and skip one. I don't know if I should do it here. Can I reach it? Oh, I'm so glad I didn't screw that up. We've got to flip them. Dang. I'm so glad I tested that. I shouldn't have built two of them. We're going to have to put these things backwards. Okay. Oh, God, it scared me. All right, we got another one. Let's test them out. Please say I can get to it. Please. Oh, let's. We gotta set it off first, right? Okay. Easily done. Please say I can reach it. Yes. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's knock out the walls. Hell, I could build them from this side. Oh, look, a sock skin. And we got to figure out something to do with all these remains. So, every other wall, we're going to have a trap. That's going to be dope. You want to know the funny thing? Let me check my map. I completely forgot about Virginia. She is, uh, she's at the other base. I can't believe I completely forgot about her. We're going to have to go get her. For sure. Okay. So we've got one wall done. We're not going to complete all the traps in this episode. But at least now we have some kind of defense. We do need to get rid of these logs or at least put them on this structure so they don't go away. Or I wonder if I could just do... No, I can't do that. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we can. Boy, I hear my traps just going off like crazy. Okay, all logs stored. Perfect. And for now, I'm going to store these half logs just right here. We'll think of something to use them for later. Let's go get Virginia. Oh my god, man. Yeah, perfect timing. Virginia! There she is. Hey. What are you doing? Holy crap, I totally forgot about you. I am so sorry. I've got us a new home. You need to follow me. Come on, it's raining. Yeah, stand up. Look, I don't have you any new clothes. Here, I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah, put that back on. Just come this way. Yeah, I like that. I like that better. Yeah, I, I don't think she likes me anymore. I can't believe I forgot about her. Now it's getting dark. She's hungry again. <sighs> don't look. I'm, I'm going to look away. Just looking away, you know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one more attempt to get Virginia over to the new base. There she is. Oh my God, she has a rabbit. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Put that away. Sorry. God damn it. Shoot him. Shoot him. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, check it out. It's our new home. Come on in. Yeah, come on in. Or, or you can stay on the outside. It's fine. Here, I'm going to make you a fire. Come here. I'm going to make you a nice fire out here. There you go. 
That's for you. Oh, man. Feels so much better having her around. See, now we can keep up with her because we can see her. It's much more open in this area. This is literally the most perfect area to build. This, this probably is the best place to build in the game. Y you are just... Well, no, we're not because there's water literally right there. Yeah, I think she likes it here, man. It's not all dense and crowded in. It's, it's open. You can see everything. It's nice. We've got a stellar view of the mountain. And we are going to go nuts with this foundation. We're going to build our base in the center. We're going to set up a bunch of preventative measures. And we're going to test this game to the max. It's going to be insane. Again, guys, you are thumbing the hell out of that like button. And it's causing the videos to go viral. If this continues on, we'll hit a million probably this year. I want to say hello to all the new people here. Welcome. We're going to go absolutely ham with this game for a long time. But that about wraps it up for this episode. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.